AI. Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to another Dragon Box C config file. In this video, uh, it's gonna be like my last video actually. It's gonna show you how to change the mine cost for certain skill requirements like going Super Saiyan, fly and jump and all that good stuff. The reason I'm making this video is because I've noticed I had a lot of you tell me that there's been changes in the config file that they can't find the mind skills and whatnot. And that's because Dragon Block C has a new version out there. And that new version had changed some of the config file configurations and actually added a few files. So we have to go in and show you how to make those changes, obviously. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go ahead and click over on corn and you wanna learn a skill, you'll notice that there's a jump and fly and each one of those has a specific mind cost. You'll see the default actually is 20 instead of five like it was in the previous version of Dragon Block C. And then my changed cost for fly has been changed to one. So you can change the cost of skills. And I wanna go ahead and show you how to do that. There used to be a multiplier and I'll explain that when I open up the file, but just know that now it's actually very, very easy to change the mind requirement. So let's go ahead and quit the game and open up our Minecraft folder. All right, the first thing you wanna do is go into your Minecraft folder. And then from there, you wanna to go to configs. So just scroll down and you'll find a folder called Gin Games. Double click that. Then that you'll click DBC. And then you find this file, this new file called skill cost. I don't believe this used to exist before. And so you just double click into that. And you'll notice that it's uh, very similar to what used to exist in the JRM core file, the config file, but they've actually separated and put it into a separate file now. So you'll notice that there is a mind requirement for each type of race. So uh, you'll see half sane here, you'll see human race here. And so the skills are broken down. You'll see that the mine requirement isn't a percentage like it used to be. It used to be like a multiplier. Now it's just straight cost. So like this costs 20. If you want your, if you want it to like just be 10, change it to 10. If you want it to be 20, you know, keep it at 20 or whatever. So let's go to saying, most people go to saying. So racial skill cost. So it's at 20, just change it to one. So this means I can go ahead and become a super saiyan just by paying one mind as the cost, you know? Obviously there's a TP cost, but that's pretty easy to get. It's a mind that ends up being pretty difficult. 20 is kind of high, so I'm gonna change it down to one. Okay, so I'll go ahead and file save that. All right, so let's go ahead and see what our changes have done. Obviously, if you go to transformation skills, if you go to skills right here, you'll see you have super form. This is how you become a super saiyan. It costs 1000 TP. And you see, I changed the mind from 20 to one. So easily become a super saiyan, just click that. And I've unlocked super saiyan level one. Now, if I wanna go into super saiyan level two, now it's 5000 TP cost and still the mine has remained one. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go. And actually this isn't Super Saiyan 2, it's the second form of Super Saiyan 1. Uh, it's very confusing. But anyway, that's that. And you can see like now the TP costs increase even more and the mine still remain to be one. So just kind of be aware it doesn't multiply like it used to before. Um, it's just, actually I don't even think it had a multiplier. Just be aware that whatever you set the mine to be, that's the, the TP that it will always cost to move up. Um, or sorry, the mine that always costs to move up. TP does multiply like you saw it multiply from one to 5,000 to 10,000. Now, another thing that a lot of people end up asking me about is skill cost for Ultra Instinct. And the way you do that is not actually in skill cost. You have to go to forms, click forms, and then there's an Ultra Instinct file, double click that. And from here, you'll notice that there's a bunch of stats, particularly about Ultra Instinct form. If you go down a little bit, you'll notice that there is an Ultra Instinct mind cost requirement. It's set to 20. Again, you can go ahead and change this to 10. You can change it to one, whatever you like. I'm just gonna keep it at 20 for now. And then if you notice that there is the actual TP cost of uh, 100,000, that is tremendous. If I wanted to be Ultra Instinct right off the bat, you can change it to 100 or whatever you like. Again, I'm just gonna keep it to 10,000. So I bring this up because a lot of people ask me about how to change Ultra Instinct configs. And just, you gotta be aware that it's got its own config folder. It's not in the JRM core config file, nor is it in the Dragon Block C config file. There are a lot of config files for Dragon Block C. So just be aware that they're in their own folders and own files. So you can go ahead and save that. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. I just wanna make an update because uh, I did realize there's a newer version of Dragon Block C and it does work slightly different. So. Again, hopefully you learned something. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.